Somebody got to tell you. Thank God for holiness. Ain't nothing else. When I was a child, I spake, understood, and thought as a child. But when I became a man, I put away childish things. 1 Corinthians 13, 11. When I was growing up, my mama's church was a worldly church. My daddy, being a church organist, played at the holiness churches. As a child, I didn't like the holiness churches. But I loved my mama's worldly church. The worldly church dressed like the world, talked like the world, did worldly things and called it balance. The holiness churches though, the women didn't show their body. They didn't wear no britches, no makeup, no earrings or jewelry, no movies, no wine, dreadlocks, no braids, no tattoos, no mingling with the world. And they called it sanctification. As a child, I didn't like the holiness churches. But when I got saved, I put away those childish things and thoughts and realized that all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eye, and the pride of life is like a contagious disease. When someone has COVID, you don't wanna touch them or anything they touched. If somebody told you, oh, so-and-so got COVID, and that's the cup they were drinking out of. Or, so-and-so got COVID, and that's the chair they were sitting in. Or, so-and-so got COVID, and that's the napkin they used. The truth is that you will put on gloves and a mask, fold up the chair, and throw it in a guard. The truth is that you would put on gloves and a mask and throw the cup they was using in the garbage. The truth is that you would put on gloves and a mask and take a stick to put it on that napkin and throw that in the garbage too. And probably burn the garbage. So when you grow up in Christ and become a man, the world in church to you is like COVID. You don't want nothing to do with that garbage. Yet, in Christ Jesus, you become the first responder that has to treat the COVID patients. Thank you, Jesus Christ. But Jesus Christ is your buckler and your shield so you don't use gloves and masks when treating the world in church. You let your light shine, Matthew 5, 16, and be an example to the believers with your conversation in holiness, 1 Peter 1, 14, so that the world in church can know how their walk in Christ must be. As the scriptures say, in 1 Timothy 4.12. Let no man despise thy youth, but be thou an example of the believers in word, in conversation, in charity, in spirit, in faith, in purity. Now, as a man who has put away childish things, I can testify and call heaven and earth to record this this day that I thank God for holiness 
ain't nothing else. Holiness becometh thine house. As the scriptures say in Psalms 93.5, thy testimonies are very sure. Holiness becometh thine house. O Lord, forever. Too many folks are believers, but it breaks the heart that too few folks are saved. They ain't delivered, which is what saved means. Joel 2.32, they are the same old creatures with the same old lust of the flesh, lust of the eye, and the pride of life. Making them worldly, making them friends with the world and enemies of God. James 4 and 4. This is what the scriptures say in 2 Corinthians 6, 14. Be ye not unequally yoked together with unbelievers. For what fellowship have righteousness with unrighteousness? And what communion have light with darkness? This is why the scriptures say in 2 Corinthians 6, 17 and 18, Wherefore, come out from among them, and be ye separate, saith the Lord, and touch not the unclean thing, and I will receive you, and will be a father unto you, and ye shall be my sons and daughters, saith the Lord Almighty, see, you don't become a man until you obey the Almighty God, whose name is Jesus Christ. And when you obey God, you become holy, as the scriptures say in 1 Peter 1, 14 through 16. As obedient children, not fashioning yourselves according to the former lusts of your ignorance, but as he which have called you is holy, so be ye holy in all manner of conversation, because it is written, Be ye holy, for I am holy. Your worship is in the beauty of holiness. Psalms 96 to 9. Your way is the way of holiness. Isaiah 35 and 8. You are called the holy people. Isaiah 62 and 12. You perfect holiness in the fear of God, cleansing your flesh and spirit from all filthiness. Second Corinthians 7, 1. Even your women dress in holiness because it becometh women professing godliness. First Timothy 2, 10. They learn from the men to the women that the things that are attractive to the world, such as men with long hair, tattoos, and other things, and that women wearing breeches, pants, paint, makeup, earrings, nose jewels, gold, pearls, cutting their hair, and others with broided hair, hair weaves, is not beautiful to God. How do we know? Because the scriptures say this, in Psalms 149 and 4, For the Lord taketh pleasure in his people, he will beautify the meek with salvation. It's just as vain as old men dyeing their hair black, because it is written in Proverbs 20 and 29, The glory of young men is their strength, and the beauty of old men is the gray head. All of that, what the worldly world does, 
what the worldly church does to be beautiful, to be fashionable in the ignorance of their lust is garbage. But in holiness, you don't have nothing to do with that because we are pilgrims and strangers in this world passing through to go on to glory. First Peter 2.11 We are right now in the perilous, dangerous times. Your soul is involved here so you can't mess up. This is why Jesus Christ commands his disciples in Matthew 5, 48. Be ye therefore perfect, even as your Father which is in heaven is perfect. Make your calling and election sure. Second Peter 2, 10. Perfect holiness. 2 Corinthians 7, 1, leaving the principal doctrines of Christ, go on, on to perfection. Hebrews 6, 1, how? Be a doer of the word of God and not a hearer only, deceiving your own selves. James 1, 22, because it is written in Hebrews 5, 9, and be made perfect, he became the author of eternal salvation unto all them that obey him. If you want eternal salvation, you must obey Jesus Christ. Being woke won't save your soul. Grow up, grow up, grow in the grace of God and knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. 2 Peter 3.18, obey Jesus Christ because that will give you eternal salvation which will save your soul. Repent and believe the gospel. Amen and amen.